Welcome to Ala Mode by Adrian. here or to whoever's watching this after I tape it. We are live right now. Say hello if you are here. This is a no makeup Saturday jar opening, bag opening. And I haven't done one of these in a while and I have been getting requests for them. So I'm doing it. Um, this is Hi Becky Lynn's. Hi Priyanka. Priyanka, I'll write you back in a little. Um, this is a four pound, four ounce bag of vintage costume jewelry, and I bid on it and won at $59.99. And with shipping and handling and tax and all that stuff, it was about $75. So we'll see if I get my money back or if I win big or who knows what's going to happen. But usually when I see vintage anything, I bid on it and I definitely bid on things with gold and silver in it because, or, or, um, semi-precious stone. Alyssa, I look amazing. I have no makeup on, not a stitch, but thank you. And I didn't do my hair. I just like blew it dry real quick, but I appreciate that. Um, all right, so let's get into it. I'm glad you tuned in. I was going to send everybody and I'm going live text, but then I didn't. What are you going to do? All right. This is vintage Avon. That's very sweet. I don't pay her to say that either. Well, I pay her in jewelry. What are you going to do? Uh, my eye looks like weird though. This one. I don't know what it is. I do have fake lashes on. I've been doing these eyelash extension things. I think that looks weird. I have to curl them. All right. Anyway, um, this is vintage Avon. Obviously, faux amethyst. Very pretty, though. Opens like that. Cute. All right. We've got this faux malachite earring. Very, whoops, very light. Um, and that's great because it's uh, easy to wear. Pretty. Do not touch your eye from the jewelry. Good point, honey. Good point. I will not. You're right. All right. This looks, um, what is, oh, that's pretty. Hold on one second. Um, okay. This is missing a stone. And this is, I wish I was better at fixing stuff. This is probably going to go into a craft lot. Um, I will be back on. Oh, wait. Let's see. This is Sarah Cov. I will be doing uh, shows this week. And I just went through some of the stuff that I'm doing. And I'm doing a $5 start. You're totally sounding like a mom. And if I said that to you, you'd be like, I know, Adrian. <laughs> um, these are pretty. These look like faux um, opal. Those are pretty. Faux opal. <laughs> um, let me find my magnet, by the way. Um, where is my magnet? Oh, goodness. I was not very organized for this because I didn't know. Oh, now I feel like something. Um. I didn't know I was going to do this live till I just went and got the, um, yeah, this is gold tone. Um, that's a screw back. I didn't know I was going to do this. I might add this Sarah Cub to the $5 bid because someone can probably put that stone in. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do a $5 start um, part of my auction this week. 
All right, this looks like faux tiger's eye. Yeah, anything that I feel like is cute, but not um, of high value, I'm gonna put into the $5 store bin for this week. And I'm actually gonna take the Sarah Cub out because that's damaged, but I will put in the Avon bracelet. We'll put that in the $5 store and that tiger's eye faux bracelet. All right, so let's do that. This is acrylic plastic. It is not vintage. You can see by the um, clasp. Probably put that in craft. And yeah, they're kind of not cool right now because this is not, these are not vintage pieces at all. So let's see how we do, but I'm not feeling very hopeful right now. Um, this also lobster clasp and um, I mean, it's pretty. It's got these like turquoise faux, maybe um, uh, pendants. I don't know, I don't know about that. Um, this is definitely faux Swarovski lobster clasp. I'll put that in the $5 start. Um, this is vintage bracelet fold over clasp. Looks like that. Looks like vintage buttons. We'll put that in the $5 bin. I might make that a habit to do the $5 bin because I do like to start the show with things that are more reasonable. This is broken. Might put that in craft too. So far, I'm very unimpressed. This is, but they can't always have something major. I mean, that's like the, the fun of the hunt. That's pretty. That's just silver tone, unmarked. It's got some like faux cloisonne things on there. We'll put that into $5 lot too. Um, not sure what this is. This looks handmade, is extremely dirty. I'm throwing that out. These are those um, paper beads. I don't know, maybe for a kid's lot. Don't know. More paper beads. I don't know, guys. This might be a dud, but you never know. You never know until you open it. Another lobster clasp. Kind of lame. Some rhinestones don't look very nice. Hmm. Um, this is definitely vintage. This looks like one of those Monet necklaces. Um, looks a little like lapis. I'll put that in the $5. And it's got a little... Um, one, it's got one that's shorter, so that's pretty as a pair. And I don't know, th these three look nice together. I'll put that in the $5 bin. What do you guys think of the $5 bin? Will that be fun? These are pretty. There. Those are pretty. Earrings, post earrings. And they're paired, so that's nice. We've got this coral. This could be real. Let's see. Um, unmarked. And sometimes these are gold and coral, real coral. This is not. Um, this looks like maybe dyed mother. Oh, no, maybe this is this is coral. Yeah, that, that's coral. So that's very pretty. Put that aside. And this is just plastic beads. I don't know. Um, this is a very big earring. I like that color combo, actually. Put that aside. Um, 
This is vintage. This is a fold over clasp rhinestone. Let's see if all the rhinestones are there. And they are. Some are brighter than others. And it's unmarked. Um, let's see. The clasp is working correctly. How are you guys spending your weekend? Anyone doing anything fun? I'm seeing friends tomorrow. That's cute. I'll put that in the $5 bin too. Hi, Elizabeth. Um, this is also plastic beads. Not into it. Not feeling it. Oh, these are pretty. These are very pretty. Let's see what that is. Is this one marked? I like these. Good condition. Unmarked, but they are very pretty. And the stones are all there. So let's put that aside. It only takes one really good piece to make it worthwhile. This, this is pretty. Also clip-ons. And also unmarked. Very pretty. I like that. All right, here we go. Here's the match. And we've got hoops, which I always love. These are clip-ons, Napier. Nice. We've got, what's this? Huh, I don't know what this is. It looks like this, was this a clip-on? I don't know, it's broken, broken. Um, this is breaking, but the stones look nice. Let's see. Sometimes you'll see these pieces have 14 karat gold clasps. This is not. Sometimes they're gold filled. I'll test this. This might be carnelian. Might go into a bead lot. That's kind of gross. It's very dirty. I don't like that piece. Um, I guess also plastic. I'm going to throw these plastic beads away, don't you think? I can't redonate because I feel like they're just going to go from person to person to person to person. Oh, what's this? This looks nice. See, sometimes I will have seen something in the photo promo that makes me feel like it's going to be good. This might be sterling. Yep, sterling. So that's a good find, okay? Um, that's sterling. Very pretty. Vintage. And that needs to be polished, but that's in nice condition. All the Are all the pieces there? I think so. Yep. So, all right. So that's good. It's heavy. Beautiful. Very nice. Okay. So we'll see. That might be worth the whole thing, depending on how heavy that is. Um, this is a pretty rhinestone necklace. Let me detangle this real quick. Very good at detangling. And my nails make it super easy. Okay, so that's pretty. That'll go in the $5 lot. So it's not vintage, but it is pretty. That's nice for like prom or something. Um, these feel like glass pearls. They're in very bad condition. Um, they are knotted. And yeah, definitely not gold or sterling. 
These are also vintage. Let's see if these are marked. They feel very light. And faux, faux pearls. Okay. Let's see what this is. This is a charm bracelet. This might be Monet. Hmm. This looks like it would be Monet. And there's a little, well, it's missing a stone. That's a shame. Oh, I think the charm is just placed on here this is probably monet he's missing a little stone in his collar um but the bracelet has all of its stones so maybe i'll put that in the five dollar um bin and someone can replace that stone i'm not handy with those things here's the other clip on. This is the one that was broken. So we'll toss that. And so far, the sterling bracelet is the only thing that's going to be valuable. That is really dirty. All right, let's see what this is. This looks like it could be pretty. Hopefully all the stones are here. Very pretty, rhinestone, yellow, and brown. That's nice. And is this smart? Let's see. You're right, Sue. I saw, oh, I think I've seen that. Hi, oh, look at, hi. I think I've seen that bracelet before. It might be a faker. Really? Well, I'll test it. The rings are definitely not sterling. But these, um, these plates look like maybe. But I test everything, so I'll just test it. Um, yeah, this is unmarked. I'll put, put that in the $5 bin. And what is this? Oh, darn, this is missing one stone. Ugh, hate that. I need to get rhinestones and learn how to repair all this stuff. This is marked. And this looks like it's marked gold filled. Huh, this is super pretty. I just... Don't know how I'll fix it. Um, there are many people more handy than me, though. But look how nice that is. Missing just one. Very nice. Was this? I thought maybe it was a brooch. No. All right. Well, I, I maybe can fix that. I don't know. I don't know. I'll try and fix that. Let's see. Are these real? I don't think so. Oh, they are. Okay. Those are real pearls. Those um, are marked gold filled on the, um, on the clasp. And maybe we'll just fix that somehow. So that's pretty. Very pretty. Sue, do you know how to fix stones like that? Where's the missing stone? Hold on, right there. Because this is pretty, these are pearls. Um, yeah, that's worth fixing, I agree. And then these, these are faux, rust colored faux pearl. Okay. And 
And we've got, what else? Hmm. These feel real. Let's see what this is marked. I'm going so slow, I know. No rhinestones, easy fix with tweezers. I think I'm gonna order rhinestones, good ones. These are hand knotted. And I don't know. No, I don't think they're real. I don't think those are real. Okay, what's this? Silver tone. Oh, I like this. This did have a tag on it. Doesn't now, but I can see there was a hang tag. That's pretty. They're not sterling, but they, they are very nice. I like this as a layering piece. Very nice. Put that in the $5 bin too. Um, oh, there's a little cute bracelet. What is this? That's weird. It's not stretch. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. A little bracelet. It's cute. Very cute. Um, it might be one, it might be like an expander versus um, string, which I, I love an expander bracelet versus a an elastic string. That's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Alyssa, that reminds me of um, that pearl bracelet I have that's stretched with all the strings. You know, the, the one I'm talking about. So I'm putting that aside. I like that. And this is, this is on the heavier side. This is nice. And this might be marked. Let's see. No, pretty costume though. I like the weight on it. Very nice. They actually look like real pearls. They're not, but they look like it. Very pretty, $5. Putting it in the $5 thing. We're gonna have some fun with the $5 bin this week, Tuesday. This is Mark. This says, it looks like an H. Um, another little necklace for prom or something. Oh, my nail shape. Thank you. I just say round. Um, they are acrylics though, so it might be easier for, um, I'll put this in the $5 bin too. Uh, it might be easier for my, um, my uh, stylist, my um, manicurist, who is a male, by the way. RMN, this is in terrible condition. That's going to go in craft. This is Trafari. And this is... Not marked. Let's see what this is. Um, yeah, I knew this was going to be Japan. Pretty white beads. Um, yeah, it needs an extender. I don't know. I'm not fixing that. Um, these are also fake and broken. Hmm. Okay. Broken. Pretty. 
Would have been pretty. Looks like faux Laramar. Not magnetic. Maybe this should be tested. I'm going to test that. Okay. And these are faux. I do like this clasp, this type of clasp. It might be broken though. Oh, woe is me. These are the moments where broken, um, where I must remember the um, gold bracelets I found, right? Because This is a dud. I don't know. I don't think that's anything. Um, these are cute little bows. Unmarked. And what's this? Gosh, this looks old. probably start to sneeze soon. This looks so old. I don't think these are real. I don't think so. But look, look how old that is. Um, we've got so many pearls in here. Hmm. All right, Tallahassee, not feeling it. There are some interesting things. I always find good things at the bottom. So let's let's think positively, Adrian. Um, these are faux. Try one more time. No. Okie dokie. What's this? Hmm. Okay, it's a bracelet. Little flowers. Let's see if it's magnetic. Nope. Any markings? This did have a safety clasp. It's not there anymore. And I do not see any marks. So let's see. Very impressed with my husband right now. Alyssa's dad just literally put together a sound system that we were quoted $7,000 on. And somehow he hooked up on his own. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Maria. Hi, Verna. Oh, what is this? Okay, this is marked. It says Atlanta. All these numbers, 10, 20, 300, set $30. Okay, let's see any markings. Fold over clasp. This is very pretty, very pretty. Huh, all right, I like that. I like that a lot, look at that. Very sparkly. It looks to be in good condition. It is not magnetic. Um, I will look around for a maker's mark. And obviously we'll always test these things because I have found recently some really pretty Marcusite um, 
pieces that are sterling. So I will test that. And let's see what else we have. We have, oh, what's this? Okay, I see one missing stone, but let's see. This is marked, that's pretty. Very pretty. Says, this is Trafari, Crown Trafari. Oh, this might be good Trafari. Like Alfred Philippe um, Trafari. Okay, that is a very good find. That, hold on, that is very interesting. See, I always find things in the bottom. This could very well be Alfred Philippe because it's got the Trafari with the crown and no copyright, which is always excellent. And it's got a hook clasp and it looks very Alfred Philippe because um, he did so many of this like pave work. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. See, it's just missing. Where is it? I can't even see it now. Is it missing something? Yeah. Right here on the blue. That is definitely worth fixing. If this is, I'm going to take a picture and see if this is, um, if this is a piece that is worth something. Hold on. Let's see, guys. There's something very similar that says rare signed vintage Trafari. It's Listed for $360. Yeah, this is a very good piece. Yep. Just requires one little rhinestone. Wow, that is amazing. Okay. If that's worth $360, Adrian is one happy, happy camper. These are pretty. Clip on earrings, unmarked, um, missing a rhinestone there, bingo, <laughs> that reminds me of Thelma, okay, what is this, this is toggle, I don't know what this is, this is weird, um, this looks like handmade, somebody was like, trying to put photos in or something. Okay. Um, we've got, this looks very Avon. It's good for Valentine's. That would have been good for my Valentine's show. Always look at the necklaces attached to the pendants. I have found 14 karat gold with, um, costume pendants before you just never know um so that's pretty for valentine's i'll put that in the um five dollar bin we are gonna have fun this week with the five dollar bin okay here's the other piece of that bracelet which might have been a necklace so we'll see about that. What is this? What is this? Oh, this is um, like a, a clip for a collar. Never got into these. So that's, yeah, there it goes. Okay. Um, this looks like it goes with the earrings. It's like this faux opal. That's pretty. Okay. 
Okay. And we've got the matching earring, which is broken. Which is fine. I'm tossing that, this plastic. Um, what are these? Earrings, clip-ons. They're like a blackened metal. Do have the match to those. This looks like amber, but dirty, filthy. Needs to be cleaned. Let me see with my flashlight, my black light. Yeah, that's amber. It really is dirty though. It needs to be cleaned. But um, but that's cool because it's oh, is it broken? The, yeah, the lock's broken. Yeah, that'll that'll go in a bead lot. Um okay. This is oh, this is another little clip thing for your blouse. It's a pretty one. That's pretty. Okay. I mean, the Trafari is the big win. I don't care about anything else if that's worth $300, right? And these are clip-ons. Trying to look for the mate. I don't see it. Here we have, is that sterling? This might be sterling. Let me see. Let me see. No, I'm broken. Okay. And then we've got all these little, like this is a piece of something that's broken. And we've got, um, Oh, wait, is this? Oh, that's cute. I don't think I see the match, but that would have been cute. That um, little angel. I wonder if that's lunch at the Ritz or something. No, unmarked. All right, so we've got a lot of these one-off earrings. This is broken. We've got... Um, these little guys that's that I have a pair of I have this Napier which is unmatched I've got um, this is pretty Let's see if we have the match to that I have these two random guys I don't see the matches there hmm Napier, also unmatched. We've got these little guys. Those are matched, of course. Um, and let's see, very few are matched here. There, those are matched. Unmarked. And, hmm, that's pretty. That one. That looks sterling to me. Yep, Vandell, sterling. That one's sterling. That looked real. Um, couple little rhinestone guys. And, oh, why can't I find the other sterling one? Darn it. Got all these cheapy rhinestone ones, but not the match to the sterling. And not the match to this, which I really wanted. And not the match to this, which I would have liked. Grr. All right. Well, you can't win them all, right, guys? You know the deal here. But um, but this is the winner, winner, chicken dinner, this Trafari. And, um, and I will look through to see if I have any other matches, but I don't think I do. 
But thank you for spending some time. Use the gold angel as a pendant. Oh, that's a good idea. Here we go. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. I always appreciate your company. And um, I will see you on Tuesday. And we'll definitely do $5 start um, for some of these items. And I look forward to, uh, to seeing you then. Thank you. Bye.